you going to move holes? I, well, I thought it looked ugly, so I got rid of it. And people already definitely roasted me for this. Ever since we went into lockdown the first time at the beginning of this year, I actually started cutting my own hair. For the most part. I can't do the back. I don't know how I don't know how people do that. I've been doing like most of it and then just getting Courtney to like do the back. Sometimes I'm super stoked on the haircuts I give myself. This one's a weird one for sure. So, don't judge me. Apparently, as of today at noon or something, they're announcing that we're going back on lockdown, at least in Ontario. So, may as well just keep practicing the DIY haircut since we do everything else ourselves. Anyways, I feel like the videos have been super boring lately. A lot of me wants to do cheat codes and just get this thing done like right now so we can rip it and have fun. The other part of me wants me to continue to challenge myself like I always do and like I always tell you guys to do to see where I can take this and, and how much fun I can have. Not only fun, but like how dope we can make this thing look. So you guys know that in the last video we tubed all of this. I painted this all with the frame paint. Everything looks really nice. Uh, we sanded down the entire basically front rat support, all this stuff. Got it all painted. Everything's good, sealed up, super tight. This was supposed to be like quick, and dirty and fun case swap. And it's turned into a lot. And I've honestly been out here for about 45 minutes this morning, just kicking myself, trying to convince myself that what I'm about to do is a good idea. I'm gonna challenge myself today, guys. We're gonna shave this engine bay down. So when we did Jasmine, we painted over everything. Essentially, like, see all these million holes just in this little area? The whole engine bay has holes. You pause and look at this. There's holes here, there's holes here, there's holes all up here. This is not gonna be the most extreme shave you've ever seen. There's gonna be a couple things that I leave open that I probably could seal or like, whatever. I, this isn't gonna be the most professional, this is just gonna be me learning practice. These are headlight brackets and like hood adjusters and I'll, I'll leave everything here so I don't screw myself. But when it's done, I'm hoping it'll be hella worth it. I already spent a pretty good amount of time this morning trying to convince myself to do this, so let's not waste any time. I'm doing that thing again where I'm getting hella sidetracked. <laughs> the problem with this car is like it's not terrible, but it's bad enough. Like these lines are gross enough that I'm gonna replace them. When we take this car to a tractor or something, I don't wanna like have this one rotten line explode on me, so I'm gonna redo these lines. I almost got carried away and started doing that today. I'm gonna leave those there so that they bug me, so that when I'm done the engine bay, I can do a final like cleanup day, but today that's not what we're focusing on. I don't even know what you would call these things, but I got all these little like plastic uh, like frame plugs out. And then I went around and I just pulled any leftover like wire clamps or any of these little plastic things out. I've already stripped this down in previous videos and got to this point. So I'm already ahead of the game as far as like making progress. Uh, and when I was sanding down all of this so that I could paint it, I actually came in here and I sanded down a lot of the stuff that had just like a little bit of surface rust. Anything that was like this. Like see how that's like, just got a little, little nugget on it. possible because this side isn't perfect so it doesn't have to be perfect I just want to get it like as close and as little to fill as possible so instead of filling like a half inch dent I'm just gonna fill these little creases now really don't have a plan because now I'm like, I don't know what to do next. I literally sanded down every single little pinch weld, stuff like that that I wanna fill, every single little hole like these. Uh, actually, I said these ones I'm not filling. Uh, like this, 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 this. Oh, I'm gonna fill all those holes. Uh, I ground down all like all the little nubs that were left in the back here. Did a ton of work up here. I actually found a little bit more rust just in that little crease there, so I did a ton of work there. And oh yeah, I cut, <laughs> cut these right out, because these are gross, dude, look at this. This is butt juice. I tried to clean it up, and uh, I was going at it, going at it, and it just wasn't cleaning, so I just, I lobbed it off. So my thought is something like this, 
I'm gonna try to, cause these are like threaded, right? So something like this, I'm gonna try and just like fire a couple welds in and across and then grind that back down. And then I'll just like putty over the top to, I guess, fill it. I really don't know. You can also see here, I like shaved this seam sealer instead of taking it right off. I was, it actually looked okay. <laughs> but it's working. All right, keep doing it. So we got one more big hole, a hole up here, and then like three or four little ones, and then I'll probably just grind this whole thing down and make sure I like it before I do the five million other holes. It looks a little ratty still. Once I like fondo that and just sand it down so that it's all smooth and it fills those little creeks, creeks? <laughs> I think it'll be good. But I'm gonna say that the technique is good and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of it. And that didn't take long. Uh, uh, Did you grind too many holes? God damn it. What happened? I fucking deleted a, a metal plate in there and it had an engine mount hole on it. Now you gotta put it back? No, there's no way I cut it in half. I, well, I thought it looked ugly, so I got rid of it, and people already definitely roasted me for this. I was like, okay, I can't fill this hole and this hole, because that's where the engine mount goes. And then I remember, very specifically, there being a third engine mount bolt. You see this nice threaded spot right here? Right in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's out like this, and it triangled the engine mount. Well, I thought, it's too late, I already cut it out. What are, what are we gonna do? I just keep going, and when it comes time to mount the engine, I figure it out. I'm gonna figure that one out on put the engine in day. I'm out of uh, motor welding wire. <laughs> got the wire. Also got earplugs so I can stop having weird things in my ears. Also wrapped jasmine in Christmas paper and then it completely blew into a million pieces when we went out to take rollers the second day. If you guys haven't seen that video, I recommend it. And we also had Christmas. So Merry Christmas there. Whoa. Dude, I need to clean this shit. There you go. Sorry for touching your face. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hope everybody had a really good holidays. To be honest, I'm an extremely late Christmas shopper. I didn't go Christmas shopping till like two days before Christmas. And then we really wanted to do Jasmine and get all that done. And then I've been socially distanced Christmasing this year because I'm trying to do my part. Regardless, this is the uh, first time that I've actually been working with two cars in the garage. And boys, this gives me like crazy, crazy throwback vibes to when I had like the double car garage in our second house at West. Is this not like the most throwback thing ever? I also like still wouldn't call myself a Honda guy and I got two Hondas in this garage and like I'm okay with it, but I'd love to get both of these cars finished and removed and change it up too, you know? Anyways, we left off right here. Oh, no, we left off. Right there, right where there's some explosions and then and then no wire. <laughs> okay boys, we have really good news. Very good news. I did this whole side and then I'm like, alright, over here I gotta do something with the fact that I cut this engine mount. Uh, bolt out you guys I was just complaining about this. I screwed this one up either way if you like line this up uh, It actually sits like perfectly like that which is super cool. So I still use that hole right there uh, this whole thing Essentially, it's gonna sit straight hold the engine there and then this side boys, <laughs> check this one out Thank God dude. This is so lucky There's a bolt hole on the bottom that I have to use and then it only uses the two on the top on the frame row right there so if I left this piece, I wouldn't use it anyways. There is no third one that goes right there. Thank God the Hasport decided to make that extremely like flush like this. That's fire, that means we don't have to worry about this. I can make this look a little um, prettier.
This side has like a blue cream hardener. This side I use like a red cream hardener. I wasn't sure if it made a difference. So honestly, I was like almost out of the blue. So I just used the blue. I'm like, okay, we're gonna use the blue on this side and then we'll use the red on the rest. But something's wrong. I don't know if it's like my hardener or my, maybe my Bondo is just super old, but it's not hardening. And like, look, 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 it just comes right off. Like what the heck, nothing is hardening at all. It's a good temperature, you guys can hear the heaters going. So I thought maybe like, okay, the blue wasn't drying. Hopefully the red would dry, but even the red, like right here, it's just moist. So that's a bummer. I got everything grinded down to like the point where I was happy with it. And essentially what I'm trying to do is like fill all of these. So you see all these like little spot weld holes? That's what was all under here, mainly with spot weld holes. And then just like go over anywhere I welded like this, just go right over it so that it would kind of fill in the gaps there. This is not going as planned. And thankfully, Walmart sells Bondo because Walmart's like the only thing open right now because we're in lockdown. So Courtney just got masked up. She's heading over to Walmart to pick up some Bondo for me. I guess I got to strip this and try again. I'm gonna go ahead and say it is as clean as it's gonna get. Courtney just got back with some new bond. Hopefully this stuff works. We're mixing on cardboard, because that's all I got. Don't judge me. I really just wanna get this done, dude. We can't be having any more delays. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Look at this, my mixing tray got clumpy. Mm, that means it's hardening which means this is hopefully not a waste of time. It's actually looking so terrifying, but like also so good. This time it's actually drying, which is like extremely important. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, one thing I did note though, is that over here there was a couple really big dents. Cause I remember before when we did something on you, maybe rust repair. I remember it was sanding and then all of a sudden it got like mushy and the sandpaper started like ripping it out and we had to rebond it. I'm keeping the garage at like 60 degrees, which is good enough for things to dry. Um, but the car is probably a little bit colder than that cause it's metal so it probably just like hovers a little bit lower. Not to mention the sun's about to set. And this is my second full day of doing this. I don't know like there hasn't been a whole lot happen for you guys, but like man, this is taking forever. I think there was just like million holes for me to fill. Like I guess different engine bays have different setups, but I had hella holes to fill and I didn't fill them all. Mainly anything in this front area where you look in and you see this, this is what my focus was. A couple other ones in the back I left open for running wires. Some I left open because they have plugs that we're just gonna plug them with anyways. You won't even notice them. I'm gonna let this dry probably overnight. Come back out tomorrow, probably sand almost all day and then paint it up and then we'll be good to go. And for everybody that always comments on my sweaters and is like, yo, you destroy your white clothes. Why do you do this? I purposefully take like multiples of these things so that I can pooch them. Aside from that though, we had a uh, extremely white Christmas boys check this out. We got wrecked with snow, like wrecked. Like some of these spots here, dude, this is like past my knees of snow. It's still kind of cloudy today. It looks like there might be a nice sunset over there. We're gonna do probably one of my favorite things to do at this new house, which I don't ever take you guys along with me to do or like show you guys. But this is like one of the coolest things about where we live right now. Been outside all day, we're gonna need some quick start. Not a bad little parking spot. What? No sunset. We were supposed to come show everybody the sunset. Dude, look at this. Oh, that's actually really cool. This was disappointing. I'll just show them photos of a nice sunset and tell them that normally it's a nice sunset. I'm gonna take advantage of my leftover sunlight and I'm gonna go see how snowy the trails are. I 
know why it's always a GoPro when I'm not riding. If I don't plan like a riding trip, if I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go for a sporadic ride, the GoPro always does something funky. It said something on the screen, but I couldn't read it because it's obviously on my head. I'm underdressed and I'm freezing cold. That actually feels, ooh, actually right there feels a little squishy still. So I'll come back out and finish it tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until the next one, stay committed. Why?